G'day everyone, and welcome to the first game for this day. And again, I am using the VK30H. You won't have to tell your grandkids <coughs> you were shoveling shit in Louisiana, and, um, because you were out there moment, killing tanks for um, your country. I'm letting everybody else go. And normally, I will head down to the right there and come around that way. Uh, but I decided to change my mind on this particular day and uh, go elsewhere. And unfortunately, this is the game, very first game I actually have uh, problems with my internet connection, as you will see shortly, if you haven't already noticed. <coughs> Sorry about that, I uh, just had something to eat, it was rather spicy. Uh, as you can see, the game is uh, stopping and going basically, it's shuddering. Actually, gets worse as it goes around here. <coughs> as uh, so you can see, it is frozen, even though the tank is actually still moving. Um, how the heck I managed to get to this point without bloody being able to steer it, I don't know. But um, this is quite frustrating, and uh, it's actually worse in uh, games later on. Um, this is probably part of the reason why. Um, I have so much problems with this game. Uh, I was actually expecting red tanks to be already over to my Death right, uh, but they were actually, I actually met them here. Oh no, um, we've lost our gunner. Normally, when I go down now the right, I to uh, set them over that way. The I wasn't really pierced. expecting them to be at this particular corner. Um, what I should have been doing here was taking a shot and pulling back. Uh, but uh, I'm not firing, but um, even though I, I believe I'm hitting this particular KV tank, I'm not doing any damage to it. His uh, damage bar doesn't seem to be going down. <coughs> At this point, I'm already in the red, uh, so it would only take a couple more shots before I'm actually eliminated. Um, but uh, even still, um, <coughs> I was actually having quite a good time uh, using this tank and that um, it was working out better than I thought it was. It had uh, more firepower with the particular gun <coughs> that it has in it. And uh, when I come up here I'm expecting them to come across the red tanks just here <coughs> at the corner. Only to find that they have in fact pulled further back away. Uh, the KV-1 is actually there. What I should have done here is uh, gotten in close to the rock here and stayed here. Uh, well, unfortunately, I come forward, I've stuck so my nose out. If you can see me, I, I can't I hope see I him. Die I haven't zoomed in enough. And, uh, he crippled me and then just as I repaired the track, he took me out. <coughs> Uh, that was my own fault. I got too eager, um, and I should have uh, hung in close to that rock and waited for a red tank to come around. Now, as you can see here, my tank is all white. That's due to a mod that I've downloaded. It shows that all tank destroyed tanks uh, are white, and when a tank loses a track, it will show the track as white. So, <coughs> at the moment I'm sticking around the, uh, my destroyed tank just to get a better look at it. Uh, in the fact that it's been destroyed to uh, show what kind of damage that the World of Tanks gives your tank when it's been destroyed, um, how they look when they're destroyed, and that. And um, at this point, uh, I'd say the KV tank is still here close to my tank. Um, as you can see my tank's moving so he's just nudged my tank as he's gone past <coughs> and uh, very shortly I'll change position from my tank to one of my teammates and um, I'm basically just hanging on around my tank at the moment to give everybody a real good view, uh, look at what my tank looks like when it's been destroyed um, and uh, as I said shortly, um, I 
go to another tank. <coughs> As you can see, it's still jerky uh, thanks to the fact that I'm having internet problems. Uh, uh, at this point, uh, these little chafy tanks are a pain in the ass because they're so fast. A radio man lost his and ear. Hard to get a bead on. Um, they're so maneuverable. Um, being a small We've got light tank. Issues. Um, this particular KV tank uh, is still taking a lot of damage. Um, he's not getting a, a proper bead onto the sh uh, Shafi, even though he's doing some damage to him. Uh, the Shafi was still able to take him out. Now this here is a Sherman tank with the um, Mini Mule mod put on it. Um, I've actually downloaded these mods onto my computer. So it's from my point of view that I'm seeing the tanks like this. Um, other ta uh, gamers and that, uh, unless they've got the same mods, all they're seeing is the normal tank. So this particular player, although I'm seeing them like this, uh, this player will actually, unless he, as I said, he's got this mod, he will be seeing himself as a normal Sherman tank. And uh, yeah, as you can see, when he's destroyed, it goes back to being a normal Sherman tank. Uh, this particular mod for this tank gives you a crew. Uh, normally this tank does not have any crew in it, sitting in it. Uh, this mod gives you uh, crew in there and the bags the and stuff in there. So uh, he's actually the last player left of the green team. Uh, and he's got uh, the track don't hold six out, red players. If you have a look at the top there with the uh, symbols are right at the top of the thing there. Uh, you'll see there's six red players still going and this is where he's made a mistake going down here. I'm thinking he should have actually tried to go up at the right there and use that um, rocker's cover uh, to go back up but there's a good chance that he might have slid off of there and gone down off the cliff and that uh, but uh, his mistake, his second mistake is trying to come back up and he gets taken out before he even shows himself is able to get his um, gun on and that's the end of the game. See you later.